Hello, my little coffee beans, and welcome to another video. So this one is going to be about hosting on a diet. So as you guys know, I do a lot about losing weight. I do a lot of videos about maintaining weight and different like tips and tricks that I use personally for weight loss and things like that. If I watch Netflix, I binge eat. If I watch YouTube, I get healthier. So um, that's actually what inspired me to start my channel. Anyway, let's get on into it. So my first tip for hosting while on a diet is do not talk about your diet during the meal. First of all, if your friends are not on a diet, that is the last thing they wanna hear about and they will be so annoyed. Secondly, it'll make them uncomfortable eating in front of you. Like, if you're like, oh, I've lost so much weight and they're like dipping into like that poppy seed chicken that's like has butter dripping, like, that's not fun. So you still wanna be able to host on a diet, but don't talk about your diet. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, do have healthy options for you. So you can present these as a side um, if you know that people aren't gonna be super into it, but have multiple healthy options and then have the good options for your friends or whoever you're hosting for. Also, have a fun drink option that's like an infused water. So it's fall right now, so go ahead and get your water out, cut some apple slices and put some cinnamon and apple in there, yum. Like that is a great metabolism boosting water drink right there. The cinnamon's metabolism boosting it and the, you get great flavor from the apples. I would recommend Honeycrisp actually for infused water. But then, you know, your, your guests can have the lemonade or whatever sugary drink that you've prepared and you know, the apple cider and you can go ahead and have that fun infused water as well. And your other guests, you don't know if they're trying to lose weight as well, but it's great to have a, a healthy option. Once you are done eating, go ahead and move away from the table, away from the temptation, away from the food and move to, um, we call it in our family, moving to the soft, grab your coffee, um, have some, some, uh, chocolate in a bowl that isn't, very tempting for you. Like I have, like if there are Twix, I'm going to eat them. But I don't like Reese's. I know, crazy. So I would offer Reese's because that doesn't tempt me. But I would not offer Twix because I would eat all of them. You know what I mean? So yeah, so go ahead and offer them something when you move and get everyone coffee. Um, but something that isn't tempting for you if you're currently on a diet. Don't make your favorite chocolate cake for dessert. I, like that's my favorite cake. Make a cheesecake, I don't like cheesecake. So make it cheat, I know, I'm crazy, right? So make a cheesecake and so then everyone gets a cheesecake and you're not tempted by it. Does that make sense? So um, really think ahead. These take a lot of planning, but it's something that other people still enjoy. Um, and you also don't wanna make people feel awkward by not eating, so that's why I'm making sure there are other options. Like if you're gonna serve cheesecake, serve cheesecake and fruit and you have the fruit. Do you see what I'm saying? So you'll, you're still, indulging in a dessert, you know, it's not indulging, but you're still eating with them because you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Also, this is something my mom taught me. After a dinner party, you get all the leftovers and you package them very beautifully and you send them home with your guests. And that's a tip that I just think is wonderful and it's so fun. Um, so yeah, that's another great thing, you know, make, make the most decadent foods and then package them up and send them home and you won't be tempted once they leave and you'll be sending them with party favors. So win-win. So anyway, yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.